Hello, my name is IJ and this is the Tech Cave and this is my review of Asus's Strix, Strix? Yeah, I suppose Strix 7.1 um, surround gaming headset. So I've had this uh, headset for uh, a couple of weeks and I thought I'd uh, bet it in and give it a good test before I would decide to review this. Um, so here's the box, uh, very nice. Um, very sexy looking packaging, it tells you all about uh, what it does on the back, which um, it has 90% noise cancellation, well, I don't think I've really noticed much noise cancellation at all to be honest, um, I own noise cancelling headphones, um, some really quite nice ones, um, this doesn't really seem to do a lot. Um, has four game audio spectrum profiles which yeah you can change different kind of sounds of this thing so um, it's not really great in my opinion the different sounds that you can choose they've got sort of preset ones for first person shooters and uh, racing it just doesn't give you the option to change sort of pick an EQ that you want there isn't like a, a vanilla EQ that you can choose you've got four presets that's it you can't say okay I'll, ha I'll have no EQ just give me a flat and I can change it on the PC so that's that's really quite a downfall I think um, so you kind of just have to pick one that suits your um, your listening and uh, go from there lighting effects a bit gimmicky okay they look quite cool some people are really into that um, and large leather ear cushions yep they are pretty large I have uh, fairly sizable lobes myself and they fit comfortably inside um, they're not the no most comfortable headphones um, I wear glasses and after about 10 minutes yeah they really do start to hurt um, I wouldn't say really badly um, but it's noticeable. I mean, an, an hour of gaming with these on, and I really just want to rip them off. So, anyway, <clears throat> that's enough for me just yammering on, looking at the back of a package. Let's open this up. <clears throat> Here we go. So I've popped it back in the box just to see what it. You can see what it looks like when it comes out, and there we are. You can see the little owl eyes. Can we see them there? No, the lights glinting off them a bit too much. Um, and inside here you have. I think five drivers in there and you can pull these off I'm not really gonna go to you can you can see plenty of pictures of those on the internet um, but it has these different drivers in here to, to give it more range supposedly um, it's not very loud you can put this up to maximum volume I and mean, if it's on maximum volume you would think that would be too much you want to sort of bring it down um, and yeah it's uh, it's not really that loud so um, it's not really scoring too well to be honest um, they look nice they're fairly comfortable um, but not overly comfortable um, now coming out of this uh, is a so we're just get a bit closer to this we can maybe see it HDMI connector now that is a HDMI connector not a um, a proprietary sort of uh, made connector by Asus however you can put it in a um, HDMI extension cable, but it doesn't really work properly. Yes, you do get sound, but it just sounds totally weird. It's there's something wrong. All the channels are wrong. So I think the uh, the pin connections. Are, I don't know what's going on there. I was, I was reading up that there's something to do with the twisting of the cables, but it kind of sounds weird and echoey. I contacted Asus and said, "Can you give me the wiring diagram so I can extend the cable myself?" Because this cable is not very long it's pretty short in fact so this goes from your headphone let's take this out <clears throat> to this little breakout box which is the USB box which plugs into the computer and this is where we we're talking about that you have the different um, the gaming modes but so this plugs into here there we go and then another cable comes out of there that goes into that goes into the PC USB in 
and that can go out to feed um, another set of speakers, which I actually do, which, which is good because um, external USB devices are fantastic because there's just there's no, no there's no noise there from the PC, um, which is really good. But so you've got this on your desk and that's the length of your cable. So if you've got a, I don't know, I've got a bin behind me just over the other side of the room and it's a small room. I have to take my headphones off just to reach that. That's poor. I mean, that really is poor. And by using a cable that you can't extend, I've asked Asus, they don't supply an extension cable. They said they won't. So <laughs> have my time again. I definitely wouldn't buy this. I would not buy it. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's my thoughts on it. Um, everything else, I mean, the styling's really nice. The, the sounds, yeah, there's deep bassy sound, although not very powerful. Um, you've got the different selectors, so you can turn up and down the front, left, rear. You know, you can do this on the PC, so you don't need this knob. This also doesn't light up. Yeah, I'm not sure. You can't see that very well. Well, you might be. Yeah, you can see that. You can see where I'm selecting on there. But so when you've got the lights turned down and you're in the gaming mode and you suddenly want to switch this over, a little light on there would have been good, guys. Come on. You know, <laughs> a little tiny LED so I know what I'm selecting. Don't. So, yeah, not that great. So I'm getting it a, a pretty poor review. Um, there's a little switch on here as well to enable the noise cancelling mic. Um, yeah, so there we have it. So... <sighs> Um, I don't know, if you're looking at this and you, you don't mind having a short lead, that's okay, and you don't mind the fact that they give you these preset EQs that you have to have and you can't have a vanilla setting, if that doesn't bother you and you're really wowed by the lights, then yeah, you know, maybe go for it. I think if I had my time again, I'd probably go for a standard um, Sennheiser or something, you know, that's kind of headphone. I mean, this this was expensive, this was a lot of money, so what was a I was a bit miffed, to be honest, when I got this. Uh, I had these quite major flaws. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, I hope that might give you an insight. Oh, sorry, forgot to say. Um, it does come with... This is really good, quite good. Um, the sound out of it is quite good. And the fact that you can plug it in and unplug it. And that's a standard jack. So you could put in a, uh, a different microphone if you wanted to. Um, that's a good little feature. And... It just plugs in and that quite nicely bends backwards and forwards that little mic so that's that's a plus point but on the whole <clears throat> no uh, I wouldn't have it again so there we are that's my review um, hope you liked it if I got anything wrong then put it in the comments if you got any questions I'm more than happy to um, you know answer any questions you got if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and i'll um, see you again okay cheers my name's rj bye bye